Hi, this is Info Puppet, and today we're going to show you the way the professionals remove can lines from images. People say, Info Puppet, why do you always use beautiful women in all of your images? Well, I'm stopping to do that. So let's, let me open up my first image right now, and we're going to get to work. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to professionally remove the tan line. So this image will look so much better. And we're going to do it by cropping this image and making a duplicate of it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and grab the crop tool. And now I'm going to go ahead and just crop the image. Now we'll just click on the green check mark. Boom. And go up to file and save as. And I'm just going to call this, it was called tan line, so I'm just going to call this tan line crop crop. Whatever you want to call it, it doesn't really matter. Oh, that hurt. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and save this. And uh, click OK. And um, now we're going down to the Undo History panel. And the quickest way to, to get back to our original image is just to click on Open. And this is our image before we crop it. Okay, I find this the quickest way to do it. So now I'm just going to open up my new image. So I'm going to go to File, Open. We'll find the file we're looking for, tan line crop, crop, there it is, and boom, there it is. Now it looks smaller because it's at a different ratio, but that's okay. We're going to left click, we're going to select the move tool, left click, hold and drag, and boom, there it is on top of the other image. Now I need you guys to understand what's going on here. So I've got the original image and then the image crop on top of the original image. All right, now we're going to move this up because we want that red looking tan uh, color above where that white color, uh, right on the tan line. So I just clicked on um, the layer with the lock to unlock that. And now we're going up to uh, the first layer and we need to drag it down because what's important here that you have to understand is we need to have the original image above the crop image. Now I'm going to add a layer mask and this white rectangle here is our layer mask. I need to click on that and you want to make sure that the black uh, color is showing on the top square. Okay, if it's not, well click on these little color swatches here or you can click on the arrows, but make sure the black is on top. Now we're going to select the brush tool and I usually like the opacity at 11% and it's very, very, very transparent. So now all I'm doing, this is time lapse now, is I'm left clicking, holding, and dragging. And understand that the other image is behind it, but it's a little higher up, so that the color red is now behind the tan line. So what we're actually doing is we're slowly brushing that second image on top of the first image. And again, this is time lapse. When you do this, you actually want to take a lot more time. Uh, to be careful, but you know, you can go over the line, stay away from the bathing suit. But as you can see, I'm just about done here, and it's almost impossible to tell that there was any tan line whatsoever. This is a great technique to get rid of the tan lines. Okay, and we're all done. And now I'm going to show you, uh, we're going to go to the layers panel. And let me just click off. See what actually we did? We kind of erased that, um, the first image into the second. And there's a before and an after. And before and after. And before and after. Thanks again for watching. I know this is going to help you out and make all your images look awesome. From Info Puppet.